Being a master of words is not actually having the skills of oratory or a fantastically logical mind. It's not being a philosopher or an academic or a public speaker, politician, say, or an expert in advertising and display. It's incredibly simple principle. You love the person that you're talking to. You see, when I talk to my audience, which is you in part now, and I don't know how many others through time, that this recording, for instance, will be heard, it's effective not because of any of these skills, and I say it without humility, many of which I have. It's because I love them and you. I am purposed, if you like heaven sent, on blessing you. And nothing in the universe can stop me. I mean, quite simply, I feel God on my side, by my side, in me, in the words I speak and even in the mistakes I make, in what I say. It is this that meets my audience, that I care for them, because that's what truly matters, that someone cares if they know in their heart the person cares for them. They hear with an open heart that you do care for them. Everything you do confirms it. This is not some fiendish manipulation so that you can hurt people or have your way. It's a genuine case of wanting their prosperity, wanting their happiness, wanting their fulfillment. In spiritual terms, I would say, wanting them in heaven with me. How can I enjoy heaven knowing they're not also enjoying it? You. How can I enjoy heaven knowing that you're not. Do you see, it's the Bodhisattva, it's what's behind the Bodhisattva vow in Buddhism, isn't it? I cannot enter heaven until I know everyone else has gone in before me. Now that's okay in Buddhism because there's apparently they take it there's only a finite number of souls. But I think God is making more souls continuously, forever. <laughs> Which means I could never enter heaven. But I don't need to. I have heaven within me. Do you see? I'm an eternal friend of God. I mean, that's putting it in those graphic um, story terms, you might say. But you know what I mean, don't you? For if I love God, I love and value all that he loves and values. And to imagine that he doesn't love and value everything he's made is absurd. Even I can master that much logic. <laughs> he doesn't do things wrong. He's, it's not beyond his power to put things right. He will perfect all things. It is not just me that stays in, in separateness to God forever. It himself stays in separateness. in order to ever bring up more wonderful children of God. 
And if I'm a friend of him, I value everything he loves. But I did anyway. If I found he didn't exist tomorrow, still my desire is to care for every life. I mean, it's, it's not unreasonable, is it? I don't want any life to suffer. I want every life to be fulfilled in absolute heaven. <laughs> And the scripture is that he does a greater thing in you than through you. If he does this through me, and I believe he does, and I see that he does, how much more am I blessed, even though I stay here? Now, he doesn't need me to stay here, and he doesn't need me to bless you, of course. He could do it directly. He's only using me because, I use that word in use in, in the nicest sense, he's only having me do it because it's a blessing to me to be the one doing it. He could do it himself, <laughs> much more efficiently, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sorry, I'm a slight handicap dear. <laughs> Do you see what I mean? Loving your audience is an absolute joy. When I teach, I love the students. When I speak, I love those that I presume are possibly going to hear me. Those who have ears to hear. Let them hear. I am come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Well, the most abundant form of life is life eternal. And life eternal, according to the Jesus John 17 statement, is to know God, the only true God. Your God. To know Him. How do you know Him? Well, Jesus says a hundred times in John's Gospel that his name is Father. He calls him Father over a hundred times. Wow. See him as your dad, lovely dad, perfect dad, loves you, and is incredibly able. How God can do anything. <laughs> it's the way dads are. <laughs> Bless you.